Update. 10 years ago, my girlfriend abandoned me and our 5-year-old daughter. Now she wants her family back. Original post. My story begins 16 years ago, when I met Lucy. She was an amazing girl, intelligent, beautiful, fancy, funny, just the greatest girl I ever met. I felt so lucky when we start dating, and after a year into the relationship, we had a baby. I was living the dream, living with my girlfriend, raising our little daughter, being a happy family. I loved Lucy so much, and after some years, we were finally getting married. Our daughter was the most excited one about the wedding, she was going to be the flower girl. Everything seemed to be perfect. Until one day when I was heading back home, a guy wanted to talk with me. At first, I believed he may want to sell me something, until he mentioned Lucy. Politely, he asked me to talk in a private place. He then asked me to please stop everything about the wedding and step back, because he and Lucy wanted to be together. I didn't believe him, until he started to tell me a lot of details about her that would be impossible to know. I returned home as fast as I could. I didn't want this to be truth, and told her about it, hoping it was all a mistake. But no, it wasn't. The next hour she told me everything. She has been cheating on me for the last two years. She told me about how all the time she said she loved me, that she wanted us to be together and she loved our family, were all lies. How her new man was younger, stronger, handsome, and a better lover. She said that she didn't want to be tied to me, how she lost her freedom for being a mother. That she didn't want to be a wife, that she wanted her freedom back. The final stab was when she said she was happy that I finally knew, and now she was able to leave. I cried, begged, humiliated myself and got on my knees, asking for another chance to try fix our relationship, but she didn't want to. She wanted the thrill and excitement that this new guy makes her feel. By the next day, she left us. I felt broken, humiliated, emasculated. But my daughter needed me. She was heartbroken too, her mother left, and she believed it was her fault because she heard when Lucy said she didn't want to be a mother anymore. She needed me, and I needed to be strong for her. Fortunately we had help, my family and Lucy's family supported us in any way possible. Her parents were so ashamed for their daughter's actions that they couldn't look me in the eye without apologizing for everything she did. I will be in debt to everyone forever for all their help. Fast forward 10 years later. After lots of time and therapy, my daughter and I are living happy. She is the light of my life, a beautiful 15 years old lady who I love. Our wounds are healed and we have a very good life. But then she came back. When me and my daughter were getting back home, we found Lucy in front of our apartment, waiting for us and wanting to talk. I recognize her immediately, and I would like to say that I did something cool, like ignoring her, asking her to leave, or at least be hostile to her. But no, I'm an idiot. My heart skip a beat in the moment I saw her. She still was beautiful as before, but somehow, she looked even better. Maybe the age make her look mature and elegant, maybe the dress, or the makeup. I don't know but I let her in, while our daughter gave us some space and went to her room. She told me everything she did since she left. Basically, she lived with that guy for some years. She said how much she enjoyed it, all the fun she got, and how she believed those were the best years of her life, until she noticed that the excitement of that new relationship was fading slowly. At some point, she started to cheat on that guy too. According to her, she just wanted to feel alive and excited. Eventually that relationship ended, and she started dating other guys. Every relationship became shorter than the previous one, until she only had casual hookups. She also said that sometimes she thought about us, our family, but she said she was too proud to admit she made a mistake, until last year. She got COVID and it hit her really hard, to the point that she believed she would die, and realized how alone she was, how stupid she was, and the mistake she made so long ago. After all of that, she said she regretted everything she did and said, and now she was ready to marry me, and be the family we always meant to be. When she was done, I asked her to leave, to give me some time to think. She accepted, saying she would be back the next day. For years I dreamed about her coming back, and now it was happening. But it just felt wrong. Since then, she visits almost daily, wanting to talk about the best years of our relationship, and how we could be a happy family again. I asked for help from my family and friends. Most of them said I would be making the worst mistake of my life if I take her back, while others said that I could give her a chance. It took me a lot to heal, and some more time to start making new relationships, and I would be risking everything. One night, my daughter and I had a deep conversation about all this. I always try to involve her in every decision I make for us, and this issue concerned her too, because it's her mother. Sometimes she surprises me being so wise and mature, because she asked me, can you really love someone that hurt us so much? And that was everything I needed. I would never forgive myself if I let her hurt my daughter again, and I told Lucy that. If she wants to be around, or have a relationship with our daughter, I'm okay with it, only if my daughter wants it. But I told her we are not getting back together. 
Lucy only said that she would make me fall in love with her again and that she would not give up. Now for the top advice before reading the update. I would love to stay updated on this forever lol. What was Lucy's parents' reaction to hearing about her coming back? Also, did they ever talk about you at all with her, or did she just leave the family in general and ghosted people? She ghosted everyone when she left. Her parents were always on my side, and both are amazing grandparents. When they knew she was back, her mother didn't want to see her, and her father told her, with lots of details, how she is a shame on all of us and the disappointment she ended up being. She had the best years of her life without you and your daughter. To me that says everything. There's no regret there. Be proud of yourself, you put in the hard work and raised an amazing daughter. Find someone worthy of that. Your ex ain't it. She hasn't changed at all. She intentionally blindsided them to get her way, even though she knew it wasn't what was best for his child. She completely ignores his boundaries and shows up every day trying to re-spark feelings after explicitly being told no. Lucy still only cares about herself. She will hurt them again because they never really mattered, not like she matters. Ugh. Yeah, if the best years of her life are now over, she thinks she can slink back into the comfy spot of settling for stability and a devoted slave with a cute kid. She blindsided OP on purpose and got halfway to the exact response she was after. And watch her lay on the charm and affection thick with the daughter because she thinks OP is now playing hard to get and making their child adore her will make OP adore her. Here's the thing, if everything worked out the way she dreamed with this first guy she left with, would she even be seeking a relationship with your kid? No, she wouldn't. Think of all the pivotal moments in your daughter's life she missed to go fool around. Remember that. Remember that pain that she caused. She wants security. That's it. Exactly this OP. She even told you she believed her time running away from her responsibilities as a parent were the best years of her life and that it wasn't until she was about to die and realized how freaking alone she was that she regretted leaving you. She doesn't regret not getting married. She doesn't regret abandoning her child. She definitely doesn't regret leaving you since she was already cheating on you for two years of your relationship. She regrets the fact that her choices had consequences and the consequences were that she would most likely die alone. Like she deserves. Take care of yourself and your wonderful daughter. And now for the update. I didn't expect so many answers, so thanks to everyone for your answers and advice. Thanks to the ones who made me open my eyes and helped me realize I still have issues with my ex and I'm not over her yet, and especially to the ones who pointed the risk of hurting my daughter if we let her back in our lives. I can recognize my weakness, but I'm not letting her hurt my baby again. So don't worry, I'm not getting back with her. Since the post, she had been insisting on meeting, she wanted to talk. I decided to have one last talk with her and set my boundaries. We met in a public place. The talk was long and hard, I wanted her to be honest, and I told her the moment I caught a lie I was leaving. I asked if she was really sorry, or are we her last option? Did she really love us, or are we just a consolation prize? Did she came back for love, or because she was unable to find another man anymore? She was unable to answer any of that. She only said things like it's not like that, you need to understand me, I'm not like this anymore. She kept insisting on giving her another chance, that we can love each other again, that we could be together. She never even mentioned our daughter at any moment. Only after I pointed it she started to mention her. When I tried to settle that we were over, she grabbed my hand, and as some of you told me she would do, she tried to seduce me, pulling down her blouse, showing me her cleavage, and saying we can find a room, so I can do whatever I want with her, that she wouldn't say no to anything to compensate me. I didn't recognize that woman. She wasn't the amazing girl I met, she wasn't the mother of my daughter. I didn't know who that woman was, but she wasn't my Lucy. I told her to let me go, that we were over. Neither I nor my daughter wanted anything to do with her, so please leave us alone, we were living a good life without her. She then went mad, saying I couldn't leave her. That it wasn't my choice, that she doesn't have anything else. That I can't take away her daughter. I still don't know why, but that last sentence triggered me. The next are not my exact words, but are close of what I said in that moment. Your daughter. Your daughter. You are not her mother. You only gave birth to her, but you are not her mother. Tell me, where were you when she was sick? Where were you when she had fever? When she was scared at night? When her first teeth fell? When she cried at night because she missed her mom? Where were you on her first day of school? When she had her first period? When she had her first boyfriend? When her heart broke for the second time? Because the first one who broke her heart was her mother. Which drunk were you riding when she needed a mom? You have no right to claim you are her mother because you never acted like that. She tried to reply but saw that she was unable to find the words. I just left her. 
When I got back home, she sent me some texts asking for another meeting, for another chance. That she loves me and she can change. But I'm done. You all were right, she doesn't love me or our daughter at all, she only loves herself. Having her on my life would be bad and toxic. I don't need that. I don't need her. My daughter and I are going back to therapy soon. Some of you are right, I need to work on myself. Be stronger and get over those feelings for her. Because they're not real, just memories of what I thought she was. I'm really proud of you friend. I know it was a hard decision, but it was definitely the correct one. I can't even imagine the heartache your daughter would have if you had let her mom come home. She would have a literal front row seat to see how little her mom cares about her. Thanks. I'm not letting that happen. Her wellness will always come first. Also proud of you bro. Your baby has all the parents she needs with you. All the right choices. This woman is empty and soulless and would just leech off the both of you. Sometimes Redditors can sound harsh in their comments, especially when we say leave them. But it's really because we hate seeing good people get played by bad ones. You sir, are good. Your daughter sounds like a wise girl. You don't need anyone bringing unnecessary negativity into the life you worked so hard to achieve. Best of luck. Damn. I don't want to downplay your situation, but this part right here made me want to grab some popcorn. You are the freaking man OP. You are a tremendous father, and I'm glad you did what had to be done and said what had to be said to protect, not only yourself, but your daughter. I truly hope you can both find peace after this and never have to deal with this atrocious woman ever again. Big hugs from me to both of you. I think I released some anger I didn't know I had. Man, it must have felt so good to say that. The situation is messed up, but I feel like that moment is a fantastic moment for some real closure. Yes, it felt good. Now for the last story. I male 29, girlfriend female 29, wants to get back together after dumping me. Girlfriend and I started dating in college six years ago. Up to just a few weeks ago, everything was smooth sailing, when out of the blue she broke up with me. The explanation I got was that she wanted to move to Canada and live with her family, while being single and alone. For like a whole week, I thought she was joking, until she packed her bags and actually left. No text or anything from her after that. She also removed me from all her socials. Fast forward to last Saturday two weeks after she left, she sent me a follow request on my socials and a text that she wanted to talk. We hopped on a call where she told me she has made a mistake and wanted to rekindle and move back to New York City and live with me. Throughout the call, I was silent because I had no words as I was still hurting. I told her that this isn't a game and that I need some time to think about it. She didn't take this well and accused me of trying to ruin her life with her. She told me that she is going to call my mom if I don't give her a chance. Her tone wasn't demanding or condescending or anything. It was obvious she was hurt too. As much as I love her, I know this is not how partners act, and I haven't done anything to deserve this. How do you just stand up and leave one day? She called my mom and some very close friends, and they are on her side. My mom went as far as telling them that if I dated someone else, she would never accept my new partner. I don't like the fact that out of all these people, no one gives a damn about how I feel. So some things I would like an opinion on. Advice regarding if I should take her back. If so, do I tell her that I have slept with someone we both know? I feel like if I was in her place, I would want the answer to this one, maybe or maybe not. Now for the advice. No, you don't take her back. She left you. She ghosted you for two weeks. Then, when whatever was in Canada didn't work out, she doesn't beg you to take her back, she demands it. And then she somehow twists the narrative so that you are the one who ruined the relationship. Then she runs to your mom. What's that about? I think you need to call your mom and explain, in small words and short sentences, that this girl left you because she wanted to be single. She didn't come back because she loves you, she came back because she was lonely. Tell your mom you can't make a life with someone who's perfectly happy to walk out when she gets restless. You can't trust her again. Remind your mom that you're her son and your well-being should be foremost in her mind. Rather than talking to your mom in small words, tell her how it is. If your own mother can't back you up, I would not take the girl back and have a serious conversation with your mother and ask her WTF in my opinion. Sorry dude, but she probably left because a promising new relationship back home was presented to her, and after it didn't work out, she demands her spot that she willingly left back in your life. Move on and don't let her back in. She left and it was her final decision, so she should keep it final. Well, this is what everyone else here thinks as well. I can't say if it's true or not, but either way, I won't call her back. She went and did what or who she wanted in Canada, and because the grass wasn't as green as she thought, now she wants to come back. Do not take this narcissist back. It's all about her. 
Tell your mom she is wrong to take this girl's side over her own kid. You need new friends as well. This chick is a user, narcissist, and a schemer. She will do anything to get her way. I'm sure if you look back over your relationship with her, you will see all the signs. Be free. Don't let her railroad her way back into your life. Do you take care of her? For her to just pack up and leave and now wanting to come back, does she have a job? For the last 8 months, she was unemployed, so yay she was living off me. Before that, she had a nice job, but was let go when the company she worked for restructured. Edit. Thank you everyone. I think I just needed to hear what I already knew. It's not worth taking her back. I deserve better. I also realized that the title and story mentions her as my girlfriend. I met X, 